Hello and welcome back to another easy online German video training. Today's training will be about the German consonant Z and it's very different from the other languages because in most of the languages the Z is pronounced like a soft S, so like Z, but in German it's different. We pronounce it and this is always the case no matter if we have the Z alone or if we have the Z in combination with T. So T Z. And T Z can appear in the middle of German words or at the end of German words. So never at the beginning of a German word. And we never have. TZ after L, M, N and R. So this is a rule and I have also prepared some examples so that you can see that this rule is valid. And the vowels which are in front of TZ are always short. So, let's start with the examples. The first one is a word which has the Z at the beginning. And this is the German word for number. And in German we say Zahl. Zahl. And in brackets you have the phonetic script. And there you can see the TS in the phonetic script. And we have a long R sound here. And we also have a double point in the phonetic script. And this double point always makes vowels long. And we also have a second example. It's the German word for dwarf. And in German it is Zwerg. Zwerg. So in the phonetic script you see the TS and the German W is pronounced like the English V. So we have Z and V. We have the A sound Zwerg and the R after this E is pronounced more or less like a reduced R sound, so we say Zwerg. And the G is pronounced like a K, so it's Zwerg. And in case you're not used to pronouncing Z and V, we have many German words, for example, Zwerg, Zwischen, Zweifel, Zwitschern. So there are quite a few and you should get used to it. But I think it's not that difficult. Okay, then we have Z in the middle. And if you remember the rule that we do not have TZ after the consonants L, M, N and R, I chose examples which have the Z after L, N and R. And I couldn't find any words with the combination of M and Z. Okay, so let's start with the example for the Z after L and I chose the German word for walls and the German word is very similar. It's Walzer. Walzer. So you see we have the W again pronounced like V and 
we have a little tick in front of the V in the phonetic script and this little tick always marks the stressed syllable and in this word the first syllable is stressed like in most of the German words. We have a short R sound here and at the end we have a special sound, a reduced R sound because in the word we have the ER ending and this ER ending is always pronounced like a reduced R sound so it's Walzer Walzer and you can see very well that this first R is more open than the second one. Okay, then we have the Z after N and this is the German word for bug and in German we say Wanze Wanze So this is a very nasty animal which sucks the blood out of you. Very small but very nasty indeed. And in the phonetic script you can see that the W is pronounced like the English V again. Wanze. And we have the little tick in front of the first syllable so this syllable is stressed again. And we have an unstressed E at the end of the word. It's an E sound and in the phonetic script we have the E turned upside down. So this is the E sound, Wanze. Then we have a word which has the Z after R and this is the German word for candle and in German it's Kerze. Kerze. So the stress is on the first syllable because we have the little tick in front of the K and we have the E sound again and we have an R which is pronounced like a reduced R sound in fact. Kerze and we have the unstressed E sound at the end again. Okay, so let's get to the next example words which have TZ in the middle. And the first one is the word for cat and in German it's not so far away from the English word. It's Katze. Katze. So the stress on the first syllable short R sound, we always have short vowels which stand in front of TZ and the unstressed E sound uh, at the end. So it's Katze. Then we have the German word for to sit and this is sitzen sitzen stressed on the first syllable and we have a short e sound this is also a special sign and at the beginning we have a soft s sitzen so this soft S appears at the beginning of German words or syllables. Unstressed E in the last syllable again. And then we get to the words which contain the Z at the end. And the first example word is a word which has 
the Z after the consonant L. So if you remember the rule, no TZ after L, M, N and R. And I chose the German word for wood and in German it's Holz. Holz. You can see that we have an open O sound O or O in this word. So it's a short O sound. It's the same sound we have in morning, but in German this open O sound O is always short. Then I have a German word which has N, Z at the end and this is the German word for dance. So it's the noun and in German it's not so far away from the English word we say Tanz. Tanz. Short R sound here. And then I have a word which has R, Z at the end. And this is the German word for pain. And in German we say Schmerz. Schmerz. So we have the sh sound. There's also a special sign in the phonetic script. And right after this sh sound, the M. If we have a sh sound in German, we write SCH. So we don't write SH always SCH unless we have a word which we took over from the English language for example fishing this remains the same but the sh sound is always SCH We have the E sound again, Schmerz, and the R is pronounced like a reduced R sound again. Then I have two examples which contain TZ at the end, and the first word is the German word for lightning. And in German we say Blitz. Blitz. And in this word we have the short E sound I again. So we always have short vowels in front of TZ. And the last word for today is the German word for treasure and this is Schatz. Schatz. So SCH, the SH sound again and a short R sound too. And by the way, this word Schatz is a very common word for darling or sweetheart and there are quite a few people who use this word for their partner so they call their partner or husband or wife or lover Schatz so this is very common in Germany and this was all for today I hope this lesson about the German Z pronunciation was helpful and stay tuned for the next lesson. So I wish you all the best. See you 
and bye bye or as we say in German tschüss